jank little moment. Unless you have a Pokemon that can like trace its nature, like if you have like a, I guess a Ralts, but that's not really till after game with migrating Pokemon and all that. But um, let's talk to Azelf and see if we can catch this thing. This is some great music. Yeah, I like that transition too. That fade and zoom and fade and transition. I think Sony Vegas Press 13 has a zoom and uh, transition like that. Let's like crossfire or something like that. So uh, let's start with a um. Let's start with a Shadow Ball. See how much that does. It's gonna use nasty plot. Okay, you don't want Azelf to um, you know, get too many nasty plots up because that could be really bad. So just a fair warning. It's level 50 as I said, so I was right on that. Let's see what this does. This does about half. Dang it, I wanted to do a little bit less than that. Okay, let's go for the sludge bomb then. Let's get his future sight on us, okay. Gotta watch out for that later. Cause it's a future sight. Don't poison it, don't not poison it. This is take one by the way, me trying to catch yourself. No! Sludge bomb fainted it, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm gonna have to stop reset. Which kinda stinks. Okay, back here. I'm, I learned that um, I'm gonna grab the TM, and hopefully, this won't be a failed recording when I first grab the TM. I'm just gonna save my game in front of the legendary. That way, when I soft reset, I'll be right in front of it so I don't have to collect the TM. And I'll, if I do, if it does like have a failed recording, then I'll just show, like, so that, that they, that's where you, you get TM 25 Thunder or whatever the TM is gonna be. So, actually, let's, um, with this, it's saved now. We can actually just take on Azoth again. Yeah. This thing is like, I think Azoth's my favorite out of the like, Pokemon, actually. So, this is just take two. So, um, I fainted as I knocked out Azoth and fainted it on my first take, which kind of sucks. Let's go for the, um,. Let's see how much Gidrain does. It's gonna use a nasty pot again, okay. Okay, you give Gidrain a special attack. I see what you're doing there. So Giga Drain, it shouldn't knock it out, because I don't think it will knock it out. Oh good, that does the, actually the right, right amount of damage I want it to do. So as long as I don't get a critical hit, that'd be great. It's gonna use a nasty pot and raise its um, special attack. Uh, I forgot to use a quick ball my first turn, jeez. Well, it's too late for that now. We have to go with the Dusk Balls, I guess. It's my best bet because we're in caves or an Ultra Ball. Either one of the two. Okay. Okay, let's go for a um, Dusk Ball then. I have 12 of them, so that's good. Because I bought some more in the last part. Let's see if we can catch this thing. One. Dang it, it got my hopes up with one shake. Let's get his uproar, okay. Up was a normal type move. So I think I can... Whoa! Oh yeah, because it raised up a special attack, I guess. Well, Bronze can take those up for days since it's a normal type move. And Bronze is half steel type, so that's good to know. Let's try another Dusk Ball, see if this one catches it. Nope, of course, it doesn't even shake once. It's gonna use up again, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of locked into using up kinda. Pretty sure it is. If you have, if you have a Pokemon, uh, that doesn't know soundproof or has a body soundproof, um, then I don't think Azov can touch you because I think Upward is like the only offensive move it has. But for me, I don't have a Pokemon that knows that has drought that has soundproof, which kind of stinks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. So, uh, let's go for a bag and let's just another try another Dusk Ball. Okay, we got this one. Oh my gosh, you're getting my hopes up, Azulf. You're getting my hopes up. Let's see how much this upward does on bronze. It does have plus two or plus four actually special attack because he messed about twice. So, yeah. I'll just use another dusk ball, I guess. Nope, it's not even doing a thing. Great. Well, you're gonna use up again, jeez. How many dusk balls do I have left? I have like eight, I think. Okay. I wanna at least shake it. Tw Come on, shake twice at least. Are you kidding me? Do I have to switch up? I might have to try a different Pokeball because dusk balls aren't really working right now. This oh my gosh, this upper is so annoying. I'm gonna have to heal up bronze actually. I don't mind doing it, it's just that I don't really feel like 
dealing with this, you know? I have 14 hyper potions. Let's use the hyper potion then. Even you have like plus six at special attack now, which really sucks because you can you, you've been sweeping through my team after that happened. So yeah, let's use another one. But hopefully this one catches it, so we can actually just um no, of course not. So we can actually try to go after the, your friend Yuxi in the next part. But obviously, obviously you're just gonna be stubborn and not like go in the ultra ball. I'm gonna try another dust. I'm gonna try a dusk ball after this, see if that helps. But I get, I don't know if I can have another turn with Inferno, especially if this thing uses confusion. I probably jinxed myself. Yeah, it's gonna use confusion. This will probably knock out Inferno. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That sucks so bad. Yeah, okay. Let's use a uh, self reset. Try this again. Take the B. I want to catch this thing so bad. I mean, I'm at 17 minutes in real time for this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the quick ball first. I almost forgot to use throw another uh, throw a quick ball, but let's see if this quick ball catches it. You want to use it on the first try. It's most effective when you first use it on your first turn in battle, and it didn't even shake once. Of course, I'm gonna use one more quick ball, but after that, I'm probably gonna switch to weakening it down. Weaken it down. Okay, confusion is super effective on Rose because it's half poison type. Great. Okay, Rose took it like a champ. Okay. So I'm gonna use another quick ball. Hopefully this one might catch it, but I doubt it. Usually the first the, the, the first turn is like the best and most effective. One, two, three. No! Ah oh, man, that shook twice. Okay, I'm gonna try one more quick ball. And obviously, you know, you see Rose going down, which kinda stinks. Well, I wanna try one more quick ball. But I'm pretty sure I can't even catch it in the third quick ball because it's losing its effect as the time uh, as we use more turns in this battle, you know? Let's go to um, bronze then because bronze is my tank for this battle. Okay. Let's go for bag and then let's use a quick ball. Yeah. Our last quick ball that we're going to use, I promise. <laughs> so let's see. Um, nope, it doesn't shake once. Okay. It was worth a try. Down to 7 HP for bronze, okay. Gyro ball hits, awesome, let's see how much it does. It does... Yeah, it knocks it off, of course, okay. Soft resetting again. I just want to catch this off. This is like take 4 now, so... Yeah, just go on the... Go on the quick ball when I throw it at you, okay? That's the plan, just go on the quick ball. There we go. Nope, of course. You don't even shake once. Ah, oh, man. Don't use confusion. Don't... Yeah, you use confusion. Hopefully it's not a critical hit, though. I probably just jinx it there. Because last time it did a little bit over half of Rose's HP. Okay, it did about the same. A little bit over half. Just another quick ball. I just want to catch this thing. I just want to catch this thing, because uh, I've been recording for over 21 minutes now in real time. One, two... Are you kidding me? That shook twice again on the second quick ball. Jeez, just come on, Azelf. Don't be a jerk. You've, you've already plus two again attack on special attack for Azelf. <laughs> this is not good. I don't like this at all. Let's use one more quick ball, because third quick ball, I guess, is uh, where it ends with the whole being effective. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Galvin, you're probably going to get confusion on me. Not against Nasty Pot again, okay. Let's go to Inferno, I don't know why, but we can try a flame win. Hopefully it won't knock it out. Just trying to test my moves and what my Pokemon moves won't and what it will faint it and what won't faint it, you know? Just so I know for the future. This is take four, I believe, too. Nope, oh critical Oh you kidding me a critical hit? Are you kidding me? That's not a take four. Azov, I just wanna catch you, come on. <laughs> I just wanna catch you, Azov. You don't wanna be my friend at all, do you? I guess not. And Azelf doesn't have- is genderless actually, because it's legendary, so it's an it. Azelf is an it. Let's use a quick ball before I accidentally attack it first. Okay, quick ball, let's go. One. Oh my gosh, Azelf, you suck. Come on, you just gotta be- I'm further- I'm further away from my mic because I just want to lay back for once because I've been sitting- I've been uh, sitting up 
on my chair for like the past like 20 minutes. So, so uh, I'm further away from my mic. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. But uh, let's use another like, let's use another quick ball. Why not? One, two. Oh my gosh, you haven't even shook three times yet. Come on, just come on. <laughs> Azulf, just stop being such a jerk. I don't like you, Azulf. I don't like you right now. It's causing up or it's making up or that's great. Yeah. Okay, let's use one more quick ball. Hit shake three times and click. Wouldn't you? One, okay, not being I'm gonna. Yeah, good, you calm down. I'm glad. One, two, three. Thank you. I finally caught Azelf. I've been recording for the, like um, exactly in half an hour right now, and that's not so bad actually. It only took me half an hour to catch Azelf, but obviously it'll be edited down and stuff. Okay, Azelf number one hundred forty in the Pokédex. It's Azelf, of course, the will the willpower Pokémon, pure psychic type. Its height is one foot exactly. It weighs zero point seven pounds. Um, known as the being of willpower. Uh, it sweeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. That's pretty cool. And Azelf looks pretty cool. Give it a to Azelf. Okay. Let's name him. Since Azelf is blue, let's name him, um, let's name him Azul. Because I think that's Spanish for blue. Azul. I could be wrong. It's been like a couple years. It's been like, maybe like five or six years since I've taken Spanish. Yeah, five, five, six or seven years actually. Azul. It kind of sounds like Azelf, kind of. It has an as, um, you know, I don't even think I spelled that right, but that's okay, I don't care. But yeah, it kind of sounds like Azelf, cool. So actually, now that we've caught Azelf in a Dusk Ball, like we caught Dialga in a Dusk Ball, Dialga is a lot easier, because Azelf actually has like a catch rate of like 3, I think. And then Dialga, has, as I said before, has the same catch rate as like a Chansey. So let's fly. And the next legendary like Pokemon we want to catch is actually in Snowpoint City. Um, it's it's going to be Yuxi, the... Uh, the, the being of intelligence, I should say, and as I, I forgot to mention before, but you know, obviously, as its Pokedex uh, description, Azelf is a being of willpower, as we, and we kind of mentioned that before when we were fighting Team Galactic 2. So I'm going to heal up real quick. Oh yeah, by the way, um, um, I feel like they're almost short summary, so let me do that real quick. Um, move Pokemon, I guess, yeah. So Azelf is level 50, so here's its summary. Um... It's a piercing type, as I said before. The gentle nature, uh, met at the Veloi Cavern, um, good endurance, like Dialga, and, but it likes bitter food. Uh, its ability is levitate, which makes ground types, um, moves. Um, and it doesn't affect, it's not affected by any ground type moves like Earthquake or Dig, but unless you use the move Gravity, I guess, I guess that's the only exception. And with Confusion, Uproar, Future Sight, and Nasty Plot, so that's pretty cool. So there's your summary for Azulf. So, 